Alabama starts with the basketball. Inside it goes to Rice, and Fanka Mengiato wins the first battle in the paint. There's great physicality by South Florida, and setting that tempo early will be key for the Bulls tonight. Starting lineup for the Bulls, no changes in the first four games in the starting five for USF. Cheneke waiting on a screen. Poises, their top three-point shooter, but she can't connect. And Barker takes the rebound off the floor. Big collision, and that's going to be an offensive foul on Sarah Ashley Barker. It's just a great job by Wilson to set her feet and draw that, being able to take that offensive foul. Bama coming in transition, looking for the bucket, trying to draw the foul. Carla Brito, Bulls freshman. Nothing inside for South Florida at the moment. Nice job denying Fanka Mengiato the ball. It's knocked out of bounds by Rice. Bulls have to catch and shoot here with just a couple of seconds to work with. Inside it goes. Brito got the first one off in time, had it blocked, and then the shot clock expired. Blocks that shot. Another defensive stop for Alabama. Crimson tied with the basketball, looking to get on the board first. Barber. Davis guarded at the three-point line. Shot clock, single digits. Abrams to the basket, and she lays it in. It's just a nasty block by Rice. Shot clock reset, so the Bulls have a little time here, and there's the spin move. Bulls have missed six of their first seven shots. Cheneke trying to change that. Nice feed by Rice, but the reverse won't go. Cheneke in transition. Fanka Mengiato, not her favorite spot on the floor, but she makes it. Wilson has to send it back near midcourt. Screen by Mengiato. Puisis trying to get free Here for Alabama as her pass knocked away. Gets it back. Nice three. No good. And the rebound taken by Fanka Mengiato. Long dry spell now for Alabama. Over four minutes. And there is Gonzalez freshman first off the bench for the Bulls tonight. And Puisis had a wide open look from three there. And that's somebody Alabama can't lose in space. Really good three-point shooter for the Bulls to this point in the season. 12 for 27 coming in. Here's Davis. Only two shot attempts for her so far in this quarter. And a three for Jemaya. Bucket to stall that momentum. A big play. You go to your senior. That's what Bama did. And now they get a stop on the other end. They can start to get something rolling. Bulls looking for a foul on Fanka Mengiato, but no whistle. And here's Young again. And she's got two in a row. Bulls have now missed their last four shots. As we approach the final minute of the first quarter. Here's Wilson. Cheneke thought about the three, takes the two, and cashes it in. Nye will launch, and she hits it. Aliyah. Drive to the basket, no good, and the follow. And the Bulls come out with a rebound. You can see both teams have been a little streaky shooting the basketball tonight. Yeah, it's been a very teeter-tottering first half to this point. We've seen South Florida dominate offensively. We've seen Bama come back and do it. Daniela Gonzalez with a big shot for USF. She hasn't missed a three yet this season. Yeah, her second. And the other thing we've seen is players step up in roles they haven't been filling to this point in the season. Saw that there. Barber with the answer from three. That's a big key for success in South Florida's camp today. Is shutting her down, not letting her get a lot of room to operate. In the second quarter. 
Here's Priscilla Williams, her first touch. Boy, the Bulls rushing some shots and not shooting very well last couple of minutes. All the way in for the hoop, Jemaya. To the SEC tournament made it to the semifinals and then carried that into the WNIT. It's a Bama program headed in the right direction right now. Marina Asensio in the game for the Bulls. They work it down low. Now Williams through traffic to the basket. The Sarah. You're 15 minutes into the game and Brittany Davis hasn't scored. You're probably feeling pretty good, but here we are all tied up, and here's Barber launching again from three. And if you just looked at the stat sheet, you say, oh, well, South Florida has the advantage. That hasn't been the case. It's another time that Jada Rice comes in, makes a big play defensively. That's her third block of the game, and 13-2 to run by Alabama. The Bulls have gotten out to a five-point lead at 15-10. to and have had a hard time putting points on the board since then. Asensio back in at point guard replacing Wilson. Cheneke through traffic. That's a big one for South Florida. Gets them back within four. Sarah Ashley Barker has re-entered. Now Abrams. Barber with a nice catch to keep it live. Five to shoot. Abrams will launch. And that's a killer. You mentioned the rebounding advantage early for South Florida. Alabama's been pretty good from this spot. Franca Mengiato grabs that one for USF. That's her sixth board of the first half. Crimson tied five for 11 now from beyond the arc. That kind of perimeter shooting can do a lot for you as a team. And none of it by Brittany Davis. Nice spin moves close. She has eight. And Cheneke has made those plays in the paint we talked about. Of most of their paint points, she's taken up most of them. Jemaya Mingo Young again. Now Wilson controls and the Bulls will get into the offense. Not every day you get a do-over. Here's Puisis, only two points in the first half. She averages 18 per game. Cheneke with the fadeaway. She's got double. Bulls trying to step up the pressure defensively. Franca Mengiato got a hand on that. And here comes Wilson. Puisis for the lead. South Florida back up. And there's Sammy Puisis. The shot we expected from her in that first half was a 44% three-point three shooter coming into this game. They need to get her going from beyond the yard. A big, big bucket for her in the Bulls. Seven to nothing run for South Florida to open the quarter. Barber looking for a shot. In the paint, Rice with a tough turnaround. So she bounces it into the paint and lets Rice go to work. Another look for Puisis. And Alabama with a rebound. Davis into the paint. Her first points of the game. To this point, if they get her going, it could spell trouble for the Bulls. Wilson with the left hand. Alabama coming back the other way. And a nifty move to the basket for Sarah. Taken away by Brito. Puisis on the breakaway. <laughs> Taken away by Cheneke. Working on Abrams. The big step and off the glass. Coming up on four minutes remaining third quarter, Abrams has her shot blocked. South Florida looking for a tie or the lead. Puisis open three. Five to shoot. Leaves it short. Franca Mengiato with a rebound for South Florida. Bulls biggest lead is five. Here's Puisis again. The Bulls get the basketball back with 90 seconds to go in the quarter. Cheneke to the basket. 
gets the roll. Elena. Four point margin. And Davis, we've really put the spotlight on that she hasn't been scoring points, but she's made impacts in other areas of the game. Rice near steal. Poises, the three. And South Florida made them pay. That is sensational shooting. That was from the parking lot. Sammy Poises, no hesitation, just let her rip. And she got it. 16 points, 14 in the second half, and there's the answer. She has 16 made threes already for South Florida this season in a little under four games. Coming out of the South Florida timeout. Here's the other thing. You also saw the rest of the team one for 11. They got to get somebody else going. From the corner, Quasis, and expected to take those key long range shots, and she's been terrific. And she still spent time developing, growing, and learning in a Florida State program, and going in every day and competing at that level. Cheneke, and the Bulls have their biggest lead. Again, Davis not on the floor, but Barber is first half. Back to nine. Long three-pointer. And there's Rice with the offensive board. Ball poked away. Second chance for Rice won't go, but Barker gets inside. And Wilson looking for a little help against the pressure. South Florida trying to get to 4-0 on the season. Ten to shoot. Cheneke hits from three. Elena. There's the first half and the second half of Puisis and Cheneke and how they have turned things around. Bulls were down six points at halftime. And that's just great adjustments by Jose Fernandez. You see what's working in the first half, and you say, okay, these are the players I got that are going. Feed them the ball. And that's been the recipe for success. Cheneke, Fanka Mengiato, that's in her range. It's an open but trying to pressure, but they're going to have to foul. There's the double team, and there's no whistle. And Alabama takes it away. Jemaya Mingo Young with a chance. Didn't get either one. So Alabama on the attack again. Rice to the basket, hits the shot. You don't know what Alabama will do, but I have a feeling they're going to win a lot of games. And this is going to be a real quality out-of-conference win for South Florida. Nice three. Boy, never say die. The Crimson Tide still fighting with seven seconds to go. And that puts a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. That was the attitude we saw from some Alabama fans when they went, hey, the way we finished last year on an 8-3 run, you make it to the SEC semifinals, you get deep into the WNIT. This team is poised to win a lot of games in the SEC this year. They are certainly a team that can make some noise. Well, the stat that really catches your eye about this uh, Alabama team, 95% of their scoring from last year's team is back. And in this era of basketball, that experience is something that is at a premium. And the Crimson Tide have an experience. Three is up and no good by Abrams. 